Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the final challenge within these four challenges, which is the one in the top left hand corner, which is the master challenge. So we're going to look at how you can create a twisted sweep okay, in Onshape. So as you can see on the screen, as normal, we have a number of tabs at the bottom. We've got this tab here if you want to see any other tutorials or resources. We've got this one here which gives us the overview and you can click on the YouTube links to get the YouTube tutorial which you might be watching now. And we've also got here the tutorial okay, part and we have the reference one as well. So what we're going to do is we've basically, we're going to create a oval and ellipse and we're going to use the sweep feature okay and what instead of just doing a straight sweep we're going to basically twist that around okay to create this desired shape so if we go to the tutorial tab here we have some uh, okay sketches in there to save a little bit of time so we've got on this front work plane here this ellipse okay so i've basically gone into sketch okay selected that front work plane there and created that sketch. I've then gone on the top, okay, uh, work plane and created a, a line like so. And if we have a look at that, okay, that path, it's 200 millimeters as you can see on there. And if you just want to see the size of this, okay, it's 70 millimeters, okay, in that direction across there and 20 millimeters in sort of height. So if we go up to sweep, now we go, right, we're going to create a solid. We want it new because it's the first feature within here. The faces is going to be the okay profile. That's the ellipse and the path. Okay, I want to choose this one here. So you think, right, happy days. I've got this. Okay, and what I want to do now is twist it. Unfortunately, in Onshape, there's no option to do that. Okay, um, so you've got no additional options here in here. It's okay quite what i would say is quite a basic tool okay the sweep for this particular feature so there's nothing in here where i can control it at all okay so if you've seen my um fusion 360 tutorials we will see okay there are far more advanced options in fusion however we can still achieve it on shape but it's more work so i'm just going to click on the x if we um come back to the Okay, reference model. What you'll see in the history here is I've created okay a circle, which is basically the same okay dimension, so the same sort of width okay across there as the ellipse. From there, I've then created a helix as a separate okay feature, and then I've swept that okay. So it's a bit more work. So what I'm going to do is here is turn on the circle. So I've created a circle that's the same size as that. Okay, so if we have a look, okay, that is 70 millimeters in diameter. What we're going to do now is we're going to just check, okay, what I selected for the helix. So if we go in the edit here. So I've inserted a helix, okay. We've used the option and we'll go into further details about helixes in the further tutorials, but there are different options in here. So I've gone for height and turns the height is 200 okay and it's one revolution so 201 okay and i've gone for zero for the starting point okay so 201 and zero so if we go up to here and we go into our options and helix so i'm going to create a helix okay height and turns so height of 200 okay and one turn a circular edge this one here okay flip it the other way so as you can see if you go for more revolutions okay you will see it will change that and we'll have a look at what does that actually look like in 3d shortly so we're going to go for one starting angle zero okay and click to tick so that's created okay that's our helix from there so what we're going to do now Okay, so I'm going to turn off that circle and hide it. I'm going to go to sweep. So solid and new. Okay, and what's the profile? This one. 
Now this time the path rather than being the straight line, we're going to use the helix. Okay, so I'm going to go into here and choose. Okay, let's have a look why it's not choosing that. And select it there. There we go. So you just got to be careful with your selection. Okay, so just to confirm that we've got solid, we've got new because it's the first feature within the part. Okay, the profile, okay, is that profile there, that sort of ellipse or oval, and then the curve, okay, is the helix. And as you'll see, if I click tick, okay, I have achieved what I set out to achieve, okay. But it's just a little bit more work, okay, involved in that rather than just clicking twist as an option, okay. If I go back into the helix, okay, and edit that, and change obviously the height okay that will change the sort of the height or the length of that helix if i click on this one here type in free okay and save that you'll see the feature will update okay and so will okay the overall geometry as you can see there so you can create quite complex sweeps by adding okay that helix to it and if i go back in there okay and go on to sorry the helix and edit that I can then change obviously that back to one and update that and it will update again okay so the key things to take away from this is if you want to create a twisted sweep okay you cannot do that by just using the sweep feature okay you've got to add a helix okay which is found under here in helix Okay, and you can only add a helix, okay, to a circle sort of profile, okay. If I tried adding a helix to this ellipse, okay, it will not work, all right. So I've got to choose the circle, okay, and I've set that circle to be the same, okay, width as that ellipse there. So that's how, okay, you can achieve, okay, a twisted sweep. You're going to check the accuracy of the design you've created in the tutorial compared to what you were aiming for. If you right click on a part, just make sure you have assigned the material. So I've assigned ABS by searching it. Okay. And what I'm going to check is the mass of that. So I'm going to click mass and select that. So it's 0 0.231 kilograms. Go back to this master, check the mass of that. And again, it's 0 0.231 because it's the same. Okay material that's been applied okay if that was a different okay mass then what I'd have to check is I have to go in here and check that it's the correct material and then I'd also have to go and check for example some of the sizes of the profiles or paths and also some of the options I've selected in the helix as well as the sweep okay so it's important to use the mass and materials to check the accuracy okay of your final model Thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.